Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Rich and Julie TV. We will talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like, girl, where you been, how you been, and what's going on. Okay, <laughs> as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing an updated q and I have gained, I think about 10,000 subscribers since my um, whole Go series. And a lot of y'all are new and some of y'all may not know about me or whatever because y'all just may not know because y'all knew which is perfectly fine so that's why i'm gonna do an updated q a um hopefully i answer everybody's questions if i don't feel free to um if i miss anything go ahead and ask me in the comment section and i'll you know respond so before i get into this video remember to comment um your thoughts remember to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i ask you guys on youtube i ask you guys on snapchat and also on Instagram. So if you haven't already followed my um, social medias, go ahead and do that now because I do update frequently on Snapchat and so forth. So go ahead and do that as well. All right, first question. What's been your most memorable experience since the new year? <sighs> I've been contemplating how I wanna tell you. You know what? I'm gonna save that question. I'm gonna just skip that one. I'm gonna go back to it. How do you enjoy motherhood? It's another question on uh, Snapchat. <laughs> I, I love it. I mean, I've been a mom since 16, so I'm kind of used to it at this point. <laughs> but um, no, I, I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I wouldn't trade my kids for the world. Like, I love it. How's life going? Life is going pretty good. Like, honestly, pretty, pretty fucking good. Um, can't complain. Y'all obviously see how life is going as I continue to answer these questions. So um, it'll kind of answer itself. Next question um, is from um, Snapchat. Do you love Kayla? LOL. She actually put her last name in it, but I'm not going to um, say that. Um, that's one of my friends from um, middle, middle school. So, of course, I love you, girl. Duh. Do you see yourself quitting YouTube completely anytime soon just because it's hard to stay consistent with mom life? Um, no, I don't see myself quitting anytime soon. I don't see myself quitting at all. Um, honestly, the reason why I haven't been consistent is because... And this will kind of go into a story time, which I'm not going to get into, but I'll just briefly explain. Um, whenever I was pregnant with my son um, last year, 2018, I did give birth to him in June 2018. Um, but my last video that I made when I was pregnant was a story time. And a little bit after that, that is when um, I started feeling really, really sad. And I didn't really understand why. Like... I, I figured it was probably because I was like over the pregnancy or whatever, but I don't know, like I just really didn't understand it. And then I would like stop eating. I wouldn't really eat that much. And mind you, I'm like almost nine months pregnant at this point. But um, I had went to the doctor and they asked me a few questions. Well, let me back up. Gabe, he asked me, he was like, are you, are you depressed about something? Like, what's going on? I'm like, no, like, I've never been depressed. Like, I have nothing to be depressed about. So, no, I denied it. But whenever I went to see my OB and explained to her how I had been feeling, she told me that it sounded like depression. And um, so she ended up prescribing me some medicine while I was in my third trimester. I did some research, and it is normal to have depression in your third trimester. But I had never experienced that before. So that right there, and like I said, I don't want to get into it too much because it... it that situation right there isn't just that like it ended up become a becoming a bigger situation later down the line um which i'll describe in the story time it's going to be um a part of my series actually my new series that i'm going to be starting um my new series of story times that is so i don't want to talk about it too much but um yeah i was depressed y'all and no one knew um wasn't depressed for any particular reason like i was happy in life like nothing was going on in life to make me depressed i was just depressed and it ended up getting worse and um we'll talk about that later um she said new boo question mark um of course i haven't well he's not really new anymore because i've been with him for a while now but um he is newer than ghosts if that's what you're saying then yeah new boo hell yeah um, how is the new baby? Was your labor hard? The new baby is perfect. He is great. Um, girl, he's starting to crawl now. Well, he is crawling now. Let me tell you, I have a handful. Okay, a houseful and a handful. Um, but he is perfect. I, I, he's asleep right now, so I ain't trying to wake him up. I'm actually trying to hurry up and record this before this nigga wake up. So, um, I'll answer the picture. There he goes. Oh, the hell? <laughs> but, yeah, that's him, y'all. Um, and... His name is 
Gabe Jr. Well, Gabriel is his full name. Gabriel, I'll put it right there. Gabriel Jr. But his name after his father, so um, he's a junior and he's a handful. So yeah, and she asked me was my labor hard. Um, I didn't have three kids, y'all. So let me go back. Let me not get this labor mixed up with another one. Actually, it wasn't. I have to think about that for a second. Um, with my son, yeah, it was kind of hard because my epidural didn't really work. But with, well, with my son, with my oldest son, it was kind of hard. But with him, with Gabe Jr., I'm just going to call him Jr. And this is what we call him, so Jr. So with Jr., um, it wasn't really hard at all. I did get the epidural, y'all. If y'all want, I could do a story time as to, like, my whole labor and delivery because that was kind of interesting as well. So, um, put it, put it in the comment section below if you want me to talk about my labor and delivery experience because I don't mind doing that. What are your goals for 2019? Build my credit. <laughs> Another thing I never do with YouTube, but we are going to be buying a house soon and buying a home. Buying, not renting, but buying a home, okay? So, um, we are going to be doing that soon. Um, right now we're renting until we get our credit and stuff good because right now our credit look like shit, like shit i ain't much gonna lie to you so if y'all know any credit repair teams or whatever comment below because i need to know I, I need to hook up okay um but that's, that's one of my goals another one of my goals is to stay consistent with youtube honestly y'all uh, a lot of my a lot of me not recording of these past few months has something to do with my depression i was dealing with depression for a while and um, like I said, I don't want to get into it right now because I feel like that's a whole nother story. I feel like I need to actually sit down and talk to y'all about it and, you know, really, really get into detail because I feel like I'm not the only one who actually experienced it before. So I really want to talk to y'all in detail about it. So I don't want to get into it too much. But another goal is to be consistent with YouTube and to not allow my depression because every now and then I do feel depressed, honestly, still to this day. So um, I have to allow my emotions to not get to me i have to allow what's going on outside to not get to me not saying that something bad hold on y'all <laughs> just start to get on my nerves not saying that something is bad is going on in my life because it isn't but life is life so um and whenever you're depressed you kind of like look at small things and make it bigger than what it really is because that's just how the mind works whenever you're depressed and i was also diagnosed with anxiety as well so that don't make it no better right what advice will you give when it comes to approaching someone you're interested in I'm in college but haven't found the proper way to know or understand when it's a good time to approach someone um when is a good time to approach someone I mean it's not really a set time when it's a good time as long as you feel like you got the courage you know to approach someone then go ahead and do it it's never really a good time to approach someone because you never know like especially if you never spoke with them before you don't know what they're going through you don't know how they feel today so it's never really like a good time like it's not really a set time where okay yeah this time okay i know for sure i can talk to this person because you don't really know especially if you haven't approached them in the past so just go for it girl like we as women don't have to be approached all of the time like i know it's good to like to let a man find you but sometimes they don't see you so you gotta make it known like i'm right here like what's good when it's your birthday what is your favorite restaurant who are your favorite YouTubers? If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? And what are your favorite perfumes? My birthday is July 11th. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant probably is gonna be Olive Garden because I'm gonna tell you, I'm an Italian ass bitch. Like, I like Italian ass shit. So, I'm a pasta bitch. I'm a pasta hoe. So, yeah. <laughs> um, What are your favorite YouTubers? I watch a lot of YouTubers. And I'm gonna just say this. I had a favorite YouTuber at one point, but I'm not too sure about that YouTuber no more. I'm not no YouTuber naming ass bitch, so I don't want to really name name the YouTuber that I'm talking about. But I'm going to just say this. Do I have a favorite YouTuber right now? Hell no. Why? Because I honestly feel like, minus, I can count on one hand how many people that I don't feel this way about. But it's more, I feel this way about people more than I don't. Well, I feel this way about YouTubers more than I don't. And this is the way I feel. Numbers change people, okay? I'm gonna say it again. Numbers change people, and that is okay. I feel like if you starting to get up there, then yeah, you gotta kinda carry yourself in a different way. Understood. However, numbers don't mean a damn thing to me. Like, it don't. And 
I get this a lot. Like, if a viewer, like, if one of my subscribers, like, write me on Twitter, or not Twitter, because I don't use Twitter no more, but if one of my subscribers write me on Instagram or Snapchat, like, as a matter of fact, yesterday I just got this message. Oh, my God, I didn't think you were responding to me. Like, most YouTubers don't respond. Like, first of all, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a regular ass hoe that make YouTube videos. Let's get that clear, okay? Second of all, like, who am I to not respond? Like, if I have 100 messages, like, I'm going to respond to 100 of them. Period. Like, that's just me. So, that's all I'm saying. Like, I ain't got no favorite YouTubers because, I don't know. I used to, but now I don't really know because these YouTubers are sometimes as fuck. And I got time for the bullshit. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where you, where would you go? Lately, I've been wanting to go to Jamaica. I've never been in Jamaica before. Um, the only out of the country place I've been to is the Bahamas. I've been here twice, but now I'm ready to go see some other shit. So... I'm gonna go to Jamaica really, really soon, and I'm gonna make that shit happen real soon. So keep an eye out on the vlog to Jamaica. What are your favorite perfumes? I don't have a favorite per. I lied. I lied that quick. I think of like Chanel, like actual perfume, but this is not a. I mean, it's a perfume, but it's like more of a uh, fragrance mist, and it's called White by Kenneth Cole for her. My mother in law got this for me for Christmas, and oh, it smells so fucking good. I barely use it. And it's like, the fact that, you know how sometimes body sprays aren't really like that fragrance full? I know that's not a word, but y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Like, you know how you could spray as, like, a, you could spray your body a thousand times and you still really don't smell like nothing? Like, this spray right here, it's something. Like, it really should be perfume because instead of a fragrance mist, because it sticks on you like perfume. Like, literally, and it smells so good, y'all, so... I'm glad you asked because I actually have that right in my purse. <laughs> um, will you do a video with your kids? Also, can we meet Gabe? Okay. Will I do a video with my kids? Um, I may and I may not. I say that because I don't... Uh, my channel isn't really for kids. But in the past, I have done videos with my kids. Like, my kids have been in my pre previous videos, but now it's probably on private now, or it's probably um, unlisted, where you can't see them. Um, I mean, I post my kids on social media. Like, that's different. But whenever it comes to making an actual video with them, I don't know. This is what I have to think about. Like, it really would have to be something really, really cute. Like, give me an idea. Like, maybe I'll do it. It depends on the type of content it is, maybe. Um, but let me know. I may or may not. I don't know. What y'all want us to do? Like, my kid's bad as fuck. Like, what y'all want my badass kid to be talking about? <laughs> um, and she said, can we meet Gabe? Of course you're gonna be meeting him soon. Um, right now he's in the room with the baby, so, like I said, I'm trying to hurry up and do this video before they wake up and get on my nerves. So, um, y'all gonna meet him real, real soon. Um, probably in the next few videos, y'all gonna be meeting him. I'm gonna actually get him to sit right next to me, right here, and we can sit down and talk about whatever y'all wanna talk about. So tell me what you want to see me and Gabe do. How old are your kids? Um, my oldest daughter, um, she's seven. She just made seven in, um, this past January. Um, my oldest son, he is four. He just made four this past December. And my new baby, Junior, he um, actually just made eight months. How does it feel to be a mom of three? What's the best thing about being in a good relationship? Well, first of all, I'm not a mom of three. I'm a mom of five. <laughs> um, you guys may not know, um, but Gabe actually had two girls of his own um, before we rekindled our love and stuff like that. Um, he had two kids of his own coming in a relationship, and I had two kids of my own coming in a relationship, so... Now we got five because the bitch got pregnant. The oldest is seven, the same age as my daughter. Her, her birthday is actually yesterday. And the youngest daughter, she is two. The best thing about being in a good relationship is we don't really argue that much, honestly. I, I could count on my hands how many times we've actually had an argument and it was actually serious. Like, we've never broken up. We've never, like, we don't do that sometime I ask you. Like, like, I've been through that, done that, and I'm not doing it again. He loves me for who I am and I love his ass for who his ass is, so. How do you feel knowing that Mm. <laughs> she used ghost real name and let me address this i realized that i didn't blur ghost name out in a few screenshots and that wasn't done on purpose it was actually done an accident but i'm not gonna say his name in this um how do you feel knowing that ghosts will probably do the same or worse to someone else do you think you handled the situation properly and what could have been done different um how do I feel knowing that he would do the same thing to someone else? Honestly, I don't feel any type of way. 
and I say that because I feel like I needed to go through what I went through. I feel like had I not went through what I went through, I wouldn't have been as happy as I am right now. I don't want him to treat anybody the same, but the fact that I honestly don't feel like he would change, like he's been like that for all his life. I mean, he got issues, like, I mean, it is what it is. He does run across another female and he does the same thing to them. You never know, they might learn something too from that. Like, I mean, okay, hopefully it don't turn out worse to where like he ends up killing them or something like that like i don't want that to happen i'm not even trying to talk on that level like i'm just gonna even just say that as if like that's not gonna happen um but if a female has to go through the same thing that i went through and learn the same lesson that i learned so be it like it, it's it was supposed to happen because i feel like i don't regret going through what i went through with ghosts like i don't i feel like it was supposed to happen so that's why I don't feel bad. I don't feel sad. I don't hate him anymore. Like, I hated him at one point. But I told myself, like, I can't hate this person. For what? He got issues that has nothing to do with me. And that's fine. I'm just glad that I was able to get out of the situation. I don't feel like I handled the situation properly. I feel like I should have called the cops on him. I feel like I should have put a restraining order on him. I, should, I feel like I should have made his life hell honestly i'm gonna be honest i feel like i should have made his life hell because he made my life hell being that i didn't do it differently i am not mad that i i did it the way that i did but if i could have did it differently like i said i would have called the cops i would have i wouldn't have let him off so easily <laughs> say hi you too <coughs> oh. oh this isn't really a question but this is a statement from the one and only Nikki J Beauty, and if y'all y'all know who I'm talking about. If y'all don't, this her right here. This is this is her, okay? My sister, all right. She said, and I'm gonna say how she said it, how I feel like she would sit in person. Next time a nigga fighting on you and you don't tell me, I'm gonna windmill your ass. So in other words, bitch, like why the fuck you ain't tell me? And yo, I didn't tell her. Like, I didn't tell nobody. Like, whenever I was in a relationship with Ghost and he was doing what he was doing, like, I was ashamed. Like, I, I knew that if I would have called Nikki, I knew this nigga would have, like, either been dead or gotten beat the fuck up because... <laughs> if Let's go back to my story time, my kidnapping story time. Nikki, whenever Freddie had fucked up my house or whatever... Nikki came to my house. Girl, underneath her gown was a whole AK something. I don't know. It was AK 40 something. I might need to go back to the video to figure it out. Pulled that bitch from underneath her dress, set it on my table. She was like, bitch, where the fuck he at? <laughs> and I probably should have because Freddie, he was a cheating ass nigga, so I could kind of understand, but Ghost, he deserved that more. So I, I should have, but what made you start YouTube and where do you picture yourself five years and what's your dream job? What made me start YouTube is whenever I was pregnant with my daughter, um, my first child. I actually started YouTube a long time ago. I've been doing YouTube since the age of 16, but my channel got deleted. <laughs> Whole another story time. Um, I had a channel, it was Miss Angelique 2012 or something like that, I think. Um, that's how, I, yeah, it was years ago, right? So, um, but yeah, it got deleted. I, I think the most subscribers I had on there was like maybe like 500, so I didn't really lose much. Every now and then I'll have somebody comment on my channel like, oh my God, like I found you, like you've grown up so much because I used to make YouTube videos when I was 16, like I was young as fuck. So anyone who used to watch me whenever I was 16, hey y'all, thank you so much for watching still. Where do you picture yourself in five years? Five years, how much, how old am I gonna be? I'm gonna be 27. No, I'm gonna be 28 in five years. Damn, thinking about going back to school, like, for nursing or something like that. I don't know. Um, but definitely, five years from now, I want to be in my own home. Like, a, a, a house that me and Gabe own. My dream job, it used to be, honestly, when I was younger, it used to be, I wanted to be a choreographer. Like, I used to dance real, real good. Well, a, a, supposedly, I used to dance real good. I don't know how true that is, but I did use to dance when I was young and I wanted to be a choreographer but now I just I think I want to be a motivational speaker or something because like I feel like I've been through enough to be able to like talk to young girls my age like I didn't have that growing up so I feel like if I can be that voice the voice that I needed years ago then th that's all I want like I don't want to get paid for it you know I just want to do it because it makes me feel good like and I, I get these messages all the time especially after my ghost situation like people would actually come out and say hey like your story reminded me of my story like your story was similar to my story and, and i love to hear that like it makes me feel really really good about myself so 
Hi, Auntie. I love your channel and I miss you. How is the new baby doing and what is the other series of stories that you are doing next is going to be about? Thank you for watching my channel. Um, how is the new baby? Y'all just saw him, so he's good. He's big as fuck, bad as fuck, all of that. Um, and what is my next series going to be about? Um, I guess I'll tell y'all now. My next series is going to be about my mom. I had posted a story time about fighting my mom. Like, my very first fight was with my mom. Only fight with my mom. It was a lot of backstory behind that. And then a lot more that happened after that. Even, like, recently, like, last year when I was pregnant, like, we almost fought again. My mom is sick. She's mentally ill. And it has something to do with a mental condition. I would just say it like that. Which I feel like is kind of passed on to me in a way because I did deal with depression and stuff. Yeah, I'll just keep it at that. Like, it's going to be a kind of like a touchy situation. Um, my mom is the only living parent that I have and I don't have a relationship with her. She's not allowed to speak to me uh, and I'm not allowed to speak to her per court order. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so let's go back to the first question, which was what's been your most memorable experience since the new year began? The answer to that question is... um. Yeah, so thank y'all so much for watching. Later. Bye.